Alright. Let's see how far we can get here. There we go. How the hell did he manage to shoot me in the middle of getting shot? That's nuts. Alright. What else can we grab? Nothing. Alright. We'll just take out a single Ingram. This guy's gonna be really lethal. Oop. How am I so low on health all of a sudden? I swear to God. Single hit, man. There we go, grab all that. Where's the phone? Is it right here? Time. Angelo Puccinello here. <laughs> Angie. Tell me, how much did Dime cost you? I bet it was more than his name. Max Payne. Right the first time. You're dead, punk. You sure you're not confusing me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon we should get together and have a talk. You son of a Pissing Puccinello off was a dangerous game. But when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. That's where I wanted Punchinello, mad enough to trip over his own feet, preferably into a grave. <laughs> Interesting. Matt, I mean, Sam Lake looks so young in this Die. game. It's Die. like truly Die. insane. Die. Great. Die. Die. There's that. Oh. Whoa. Guess I will be telling the di the devil that Dime sent me pretty quickly there. Man, they are just quick to kill me. I don't understand how I'm supposed to, uh... I don't understand how I'm supposed to, like, maneuver around some of these. Guess that'll solve that problem for me. Like, how how am I supposed to avoid that? This it's like hit scan. The second that they fire, it it, it deals damage to me. So, and it's not like headshots kill them instantly. Maybe I should just throw a grenade down. Ugh. This is insane. Die. 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 Nope. Here. 
There we go. Uh, there we go. Alright, let's save again. Because we keep getting blown up. Best, it's literally our best use of grenades. <laughs> Alright, there he is. He's gonna try to throw stuff at me. It's not gonna work. I don't remember how to scope on the rifle. Oh, I just press E. Okay. He took like eight bullets. That's fine. We'll keep some uh, painkillers for later. Look at all that. I guess I could have blown that up, probably. Colt Commando. Okay. All right, we have everything that we could possibly want. Hit save. Boy, that that level was hard. That was rough. Uh, jeez. Did you get everything you need? Check. I owe you. Anything you need. This is my solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem anymore. Clear as vodka. But any time you get between a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big time gangster act, don't you? <laughs> Put my flames out with gasoline. Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? Yeah, I know it. One hour. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies, but that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. I knew it was a long shot, Angelo Punchinello actually showing up, but there was no crime in hoping. Back to the very pretty city environment. Ooh. Take this music. Wow! Whoa! What's happening? Why is everything blowing up? Oh boy. Okay. Where are we going? Where am I supposed to go? Oh my god. Can't go that way. Where am I supposed to go? 
What? Where am I going? Am I not supposed to go in? <laughs> this is confusing. And a corner Ronan says, whenever Max Payne comes up, I reactively have to shout the flesh of fallen angels. We had uh, my friend Esper in chat last week, uh, just quoting the game from start to finish. Where am I going? Is it over here? Yes. All right. I'm not sure why everything is lighting on fire. Are we being attacked or is this just a naturally occurring gas leak that has developed into a very serious situation? coming here. Oh no. Alright. Our next go. Let's see if we can make it. Just gotta run. Yikes. Go that way. Gotta go this way. Just play it a little safe there. <laughs> it's safe. Oh my god. Okay, so there's a trail on the floor of gasoline. Big explosions at the start. Okay. Or I have to outrun them? I'm not really sure. Oh no! It went into bullet time and I didn't notice the thing flying at me. <gasps> this is annoying! here? Nope. Not there. Uh, what do I do? Jump over. Here we go. Punchinelli was burning to get me. The feeling was mutual. He was trying to put out my flames with gasoline. <laughs> Alright, is there anything good here for me? Painkillers on the table. We love that. Take a moment, hit save. What's on the computer? Nothing. Max Payne's not allowed to play computer games. That's interesting. Kettle says, oh no, I'm late. You didn't miss anything. We just moved, we moved to a warehouse. That's all we did. The mobsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. Dang. This was rough. The mobsters have been guarding a real What? Uh Sometimes I don't understand how the hit model in this game works. The mobsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this place. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ah. Oh. The mobsters right, have been guarding see. a real treasure. The way out of this disco is ah. Okay, so I can't go back up there. I'm gonna need to dive or something. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just instant. <laughs> like, it's just instant death. Ah! 
grab some stuff if we can. The mobsters are guarding Save a real treasure. More time. The way out of this disco inferno. It's pain. I'm guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco it's inferno. Pain. a real treasure the way out of this disco yeah, inferno I'm guarding a real treasure the way out of this disco inferno I don't understand how a full shotgun blast like at close range to the chest does not kill these guys I'm guarding a real treasure the way out of this disco inferno Kill the rat. That's good. Kind of wasted wasted bullets on that, but I mean, hey, at least we got something. my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> The night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. Punchinello wanted pain. He'd see the pain. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick, no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no road map. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck. And anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. That's pretty much my experience in Someone this game so far. Someone had graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. That's not a pistol in your hand, buddy. Kettle says, I like this uh, cutscene style. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very, very film noir.
Alright. Grab as much as I can. There's really not a lot of Cult Commander ammo, I don't think. What else is around? Nothing? Okay. Careful of these blind corners. We waste Benny and Joe and Pilot won't get the credit for this kill. Damn. Ah. Ah. Oh man, the wine barrels even even explode with wine. That's fun. All right. It didn't take me long to run into the trio. All right. Uh, save game because we made it to the trio. What's this? The word on Lisa Punchinello was that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Punchinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him. <laughs> Is Max reading his, uh, his own tarot correctly? Technically, it would be for the other lady, right? For Mona, or not Mona, Lisa, whatever. The Punchinello lady, you read your own tarot, don't you? I'm not sure how Terra works. Alright. How are we gonna do this? Save after that. Oh God. spooky little area. I really shouldn't have destroyed that priceless art. What got into me? What?
I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to even get a shot off in here if they just instantly get me like that? This is insane. I, I truly don't, if I'm just not understanding part of this game or something. Do I just have to shoot through it? Nope, that still gets me hit. Let's just keep trying. That's not gonna work. What am I just not getting about this? Do I just, do I literally just need to tank the hits and then just throw up? Nope, because it's not about tanking hits, I can die instantly. save yeah I don't I don't understand what I was doing like wrong or how I'm supposed to approach combat like this it's really bizarre we'll just save after every room Not gonna hold on to that. That was bad. Go. Like, I don't think that this is particular. It's not the difficulty of it. It's just like, I. There's either something I'm missing about combat or it's bugged. And I don't. I don't know which it is, right? Because, like, I'm getting headshots on enemies and it's not killing them instantly. But then they'll kill me instantly off a headshot. So, like, I don't really. I'm not really sure what I am supposed to be optimizing here. There we go. So that's a little bit weird.
I guess just side rolling is what wins. <laughs> Bullet time side rolling is what wins. Tons of ammo for everything, so that's not too big of a deal. And then there's one guy up there. Okay. Don't stop at him! This will stop anything. What the? Okay, that's a grenade launcher. Don't stop at him! This way, this will stop anything. Take cover. Pretty good ricochet. Do I not have any grenades? I do. So the reason why my dodge wasn't working in the past is because you can't be holding forward if you want to dodge. You have to dodge only while strafing, because if you hold forward, it makes you jump. rub a dub blub It was too late for her. You're a real angel, Max. I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed. Got me thinking about a fallen cradle. Well, interesting, okay. Well, that level was brutal. Talk to me. Alfred Woden. You've got company. An armed helicopter just landed on the manor grounds. You must hurry. The more the merrier. All right. And the road, pay. Vince Mugnano. Oh, God. How the hell did that guy get me? Oh, 
I didn't even realize that guy was there. Ugh. Kill me. I wish we could just like scoot a door open. Nope, not gonna happen. Chinello's trio was done for. Okay. That dodge really changes the game, Outside I think. My door. Hurry. It's coming for me. You gotta hurry. Please. I could hear Punchinello on the phone begging for help. He should have been saying his goodbyes. Oh, baby Sam Lake. Punchinello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. Guy no, looks wait. like an old Michael Sarah. I was in that just left doing column. what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. The he was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. No, I told him not to. Oh, God. Motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Jeez, what is happening? <laughs> I swear to God, sometimes this game is like actually impossible. <clears throat> what now? Drop it. Whoa. Don't move. Game over, Max Payne. Well. I could tell when I was outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real barracuda. Trouble on dagger heels, a smoking assault rifle in her hand, and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, it's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah! You were fresh out of cash. Hmm. Part three. A bit closer to hell.